the Mission Sniper Points Review begins right now. Hey, hey, what's up guys? Worldwide here. We got a great video for you today. Finally getting around to testing and reviewing the Mission Sniper Points. Now, if you have a quick peek over here, they've been on the market for a little while. They have a few different models, a few different styles, and a couple different lengths. So plenty to pick from. And check this out. I'm uploading this video on a November 2nd, 2022. In a couple days from now, Mission's having a brand new launch. So hopefully they have a few different new styles as well. We're just going to have to find out here in a couple days. Now, I happen to pick these up at Dart's Corner. And decent price. I think they're about $9 per set. The link will be down below in the pinned comment, but yeah, highly recommend these things. I didn't realize they were so nice, but I, as I say here in a little bit, I've been testing a certain set out here for about a week. So I'm going to give you some great feedback as I've already been using them. So uh, yeah, let's just jump right into the rest of the video. It should be a good one. Here we go. Okay, so let me show you the three sets of mission sniper points that I have here, and then I'll show you each one separately and go into a little bit more detail. However, it's points. There's only so much to talk about, to be honest with you. So check this out. On my set of Worldwide Customs, I've been using the Mission Sniper Ripple Points 28 millimeters for about a week. And the reason I've been using them for about a week, I just want to be able to offer a little bit more accurate feedback on what I think of them. So yeah, I've been using these things for about a week, and uh, yeah, really, really like them. Now over here, the silver ones, these are the Mission Sniper Ripple 32 millimeters, obviously in silver. And up front here, we have the Mission Micro Grip Points, Mission Sniper Micro Grip. And these are 32 millimeters as well. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe these are the points that Josh Rock uses. He either uses these or the Mission Titan Pro, which is the same exact thing with a fingertip grip only the point section is smooth instead of this micro grip that we have here. But let's get a little bit closer look at each. I'll tell you what they weigh, and then we're gonna get these things on the board, and I'm gonna give you some feedback on what I think of the Mission Sniper points. Here we go. I tell you what, this is harder than you guys might think, to hold the dart steady, keep it in focus, and talk all at the same time, but hey, I'll try my best here. So like I said, these are the points I've been using now for about a week, the 28 millimeter Mission Sniper ripples and you can see the ripples running down the length of the point here and they're very faint i mean you can barely feel those things so just an ever so slight i guess ripple effect now if you've got a close eye we have about eight millimeters of this micro grip here on the flange which happens to eliminate totally eliminate the lip where the point meets the barrel and your flights are just going to last pretty much forever with these points now these ones a 28 gram version weigh exactly one gram even. So that's the black ones. Now, identical set of points here, except they're silver and they're a little bit longer. So 32 millimeter silver. And these ones weigh 1.07 grams. Now, interesting note here, guys, pay attention. When you buy a specialty point, these are 32 millimeters, right? So you're gonna have 32 millimeters showing or sticking out of the front of your dart. They do not include this section here. Now, when you buy a normal point, it's the total our total length of the point. So you'll have, say you buy a 35 millimeter point, you do have to insert five of that into the dart, so you'll end up with 30 millimeters. So 32 millimeters here, 32 millimeters showing. So that's the silver Mission uh, Sniper Ripples. Now these, like I said, I think are the ones that Josh Rock uses. Not 100% sure, so it's either these these have the micro grip, and I know that's hard to see. Let me get these in focus. But yeah, they have micro grip running down the length of the point here. And guess what? These will not harm your dartboard. It's not going to pull out fibers or sizal or anything like that. So we've got the fingertip grip here. Now these are a little bit heavier. I put this one on the scale. This was 1.20 grams. So two tenths of a gram heavier than the ones I showed you first. But again, these are the 32 millimeter version as well. So slightly heavier they've got the micro grip on the point and the titan pros just have the smooth section so either or whichever one you want but that's them but what do you say we get these on the board i'll throw them for a bit and you know what i'm going to do i'm going to compare 
the mission sniper points to the target storm points, and I'll let you know which ones I like better. So yeah, how about that? Here we go. Okay, here we go. Just a few throws. I'm going to try to keep this quick. I know I tend to ramble on, so yeah, let's get this get through this pretty quick. But there's three important, or what I think are, are important topics when discussing dart points. So the first one is the sharpness of the point. You know when you get a point that's really sharp, it's going to chew up your dartboard spider. You're probably going to see a lot of bounce outs. Or if, on the other hand, if you get a point that's too blunt, like maybe a target storm point, it's not going to stick in the board properly. You might get some fallouts if the darts kind of come in contact with, with one another. Well, these points, it's a perfect combination right in the middle. Again, not too sharp, not too blunt, just perfect. So the next thing, this one cracks me up. Will these points whitlock your expensive dartboard? Well, I rotated this board about five days ago, almost the same time that I installed these points. And as you can see, my 20 segment is pretty much perfect condition. So no, these points will not chew up your expensive dartboard. So <clears throat> don't worry about that too much. Oh, that first dart was good. And uh, lastly, how well do they stick in the board? These black points, really, really well. Matter of fact, um, when you go to remove them, if you just yank them straight out, they come out really hard. So I'll show you right after this throw here. I give them a little clockwise twist as I'm pulling them out of the dartboard. And I guess I learned that from my soft tip days. So basically that's all I do. Just give them a little twist and they come right out. So let me compare these to some of the more popular or the, the other popular specialty points. What do we have out there? We've got the target storm point, obviously. I think that those are probably the most popular. What else? The one more free flow, the red dragon trident points, and even the Vokes tornado points. Now we add into the mix the mission sniper points. So which ones do you get? Honestly, I got to say out of all of those, these are my favorite that I've ever tried. Now, the main reason I say that is if you look at, I'll put a picture right below the bullseye, I'll put a picture of the target storm point. What bugs me about those things, and I've used them, th I've used those points for years, is that bulge kind of right in the middle of the point. It just makes it feel kind of cheap, or it makes it feel like a specialty point, where these points, it just feels like a normal point. Honestly, when they're on the front of your darts, you don't realize you have a specialty point on your darts. So I think that's... That gives these things the, the slight edge, to be honest with you. Even when you factor in price, I think they're all fairly similarly priced. Pick these up again, like I said, uh, where did I get these? Darts Corner. I think they were $8 when I bought them. I think they just jacked their prices up. So they're $9 per set right now, which hopefully you'd have a discount code. I don't have one at the moment, but yeah, so figure around about $9. I think the target storm points are maybe $10 or $11. So yeah, all things in, comparing all points, I gotta give the edge to these things. So obviously, not throwing great at the minute. We'll do one more throw here. Ah, there we go, right down the middle. Sometimes it's just hard to talk and throw darts. Yeah, that's, a, that's enough throws. I think I, I said I wasn't going to drag this on, but I did. So anyway, that's my feedback on these points. So far, so good. And like I said, I've been using these for a week now. Zero complaints. I actually really like these things. So um, yeah, let's finish up this video. We got a 180, close up of the 180, and that's a wrap. Let's get out of here. Boom. Wow, how tight of a group are those first two? Wow. Oh man, they stick in well too. Come on, that's a great place to end the video. So uh, yeah, what a great set of point guys. 
highly, highly recommend next time you place an order, if you're looking for a set of specialty points, by all means, go with the Mission Sniper points. In my opinion, personal opinion, nicer than the targets. Not better or anything like that, but if I just had my choice between the two, I prefer the Mission Snipers. So hey, there it is, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, thumbs up. Comment down below, though, more important to me. And we have a close-up of that 180 I just hit. So we'll see you on the next video. Later.